Parents of Reddit, what is the most expensive thing your child has accidentally ruined? Not exactly ruined. I was on a Skype call introducing my dad to his newborn granddaughter and she throws up all over the new MacBook Pro. I cleaned it up and kept it off for a few days. I thought it was fried for sure but it turned on. Backlight was patchy and smelled funny for some time. Renamed it to Mac and Cheese. Surprisingly still works 7 years later. I'm not a parent, but my younger sister somehow managed to ruin all the plumbing in one of the bathrooms of our house. The same sister also backed a golf cart into an AC unit that had to be completely replaced. It wasn't our AC unit or our golf cart. She's also managed to ruin the engines of three separate cars. My great grandfather used to say my mom could break a crowbar. And that saying has now been passed down to my sister. My grandfather had a similar statement about my little brother. After he'd shattered all four globes lights on my grandfather's ceiling fan. That boy could freak up an anvil. 20 years ago my friend's young son was making puzzles and he cut up his father's original Star Wars and New Hope 1977 poster. His father told me he had to shrug it off because his son didn't know any better. Best punishment served cold, the son is now a young Star Wars fan and he would do anything to own that poster he himself ruined. The stereo in our minivan quit working. After a little troubleshooting, we found 25 pennies shoved in the CD slot. My eye. When she was 6 months old, she was sitting in my lap playing with some toy. She suddenly got really excited and flailed her arms up. Her fingernail dug deep into my eye. Three surgeries later, I still can barely see out of that eye. And it's visibly screwed up too. Not egregiously. But if you look me in the eye my pupil is clearly more oval than circle. And needless to say, I won't be telling her about this until she's an adult at the earliest. And even then only if she asks. When I was a kid, my mother lost her diamond wedding ring. She was devastated. A decade later, while cleaning things up for a garage sale, we found it jammed in the toilet of my Barbie house. I once bought a kid's jewelry box for my niece at a garage sale. While wrapping it I noticed a hidden drawer in the back, a diamond necklace and a gold ring. I took them back to the sale and the woman was so freaking grateful. Apparently they lost them years ago. We had a 90 gram salt water tank with easily upwards of $3 k worth of coral, fish. I went to work a night shift and my son unplugged everything for the night my husband didn't notice. Everything was dead in the morning, and the house smelled lovely. My so had dish soap on his hands from doing dishes, cleaned my tank and the soap killed 8k in fish coral and other aquatic life. My grandpa was in the navy and when he took his youngest son, my uncle, onto a ship for a tour, my uncle wandered away for a little bit, they found him dropping whoppers, the candy, not the burger, into whatever openings he could find, supposedly, despite the crew working tirelessly to find them all, they'd still hear whoppers rolling around for years to come. My son watched me windex the windows one day while cleaning, when I put the spray bottle down he picked it up and soaked two flat screen TVs down. It got sprayed so much some seeped in behind the screen and ran down the inside. They still work, but have funny vertical lines that are permanently distorted. My kid broke my TV last week, and I'm currently searching for my Fitbit that he's hidden. He took it from the charger while I had the balls to cook him breakfast. Think about all the steps you're getting while looking for it though. When I was about 4 or 5 I destroyed our upstairs and downstairs bathrooms. I had this little blow bath toy whale, and I had told my mom before that I wanted it to go to the ocean. So one night we were going out to dinner with my aunt and uncle. I go to the bathroom before leaving and put the sink stopper on and my little whale in the sink. When we come home we can hear running water the upstairs bathroom floor which was the downstairs bathroom ceiling had collapsed and there was a waterfall coming from upstairs. My brother ripped earrings out of both my mother's ears when he was a baby. He did one, then the other a few days later. I guess the cosmetic surgery to fix it was expensive and insurance didn't cover it. Don't wear big earrings when you're holding a baby, ladies. My dad, a realtor, once sold a house and a condo to a guy whose daughter had burned down their old house. The house was for the family, the condo was for the daughter. I asked my dad how it had happened and he said the guy just told him. She's always been like that. She burns down a house and gets a free condo but I do it and get arson charges. 
Our brand new flat screen TV. He was to and threw his toy truck at it, obliterated. Never wanted to disown him more than in that moment. For most of my childhood, my parents kept the expensive living room TV in a huge cabinet that could be closed when you weren't watching TV. I understand why they did that now. My son turned a one year old car into a submarine. We get flooding here every time it rains so locals know to stay out of puddles. Except my son, I guess. I've asked him many times what his comfort level driving through water is. Mine is 2 or 3 inches. He somehow managed to flood the car to the middle of the steering wheel. Not a parent. I'm the sister of this kid. My younger brother. He's 11 years younger than me. When he was 2. He shoved an entire jam sandwich into a PlayStation 3. When we went to get it repaired, they found a key, 12p in change, the jam sandwich and a cheese string wrapper. He also threw a metal plane at our brand new 50 inches TV. It had a small hole in it for the 7 years it lasted us. Little monsters kids are. My sister destroyed not one, but two blenders by leaving a spoon in them before turning them on. The explosions were impressive. The television. Apparently, running the scissors over the screen makes it look better. My daughter ruined my phone when she was about 2 months old. She threw up on me and it splattered hard enough to hit the phone just right while it was charging and it fried the charging port. My kid blew the motor on a Ford Contour. I guess he thought the temp gauge was nothing to worry about. My dumbass brother sees the engine in a Beretta. Apparently, even the idiot light for oil wasn't idiot friendly. When my sister was probably not even 2 years old, she knocked over and broke my dad's 12 string bass guitar. He still doesn't let her live that down. My 18 month old shoved my surface off a table and it shattered on the floor. You know how cats like to knock things off tables just for the heck of it? Just like that. He looked so dang proud of himself, too. My partner's nephew does that. He looks so... calculating. A diamond earring. Gifted by my mother on my wedding day. Diamonds swim in the big potty guys. My neighbor worked in the diamond district of New York City. He'd given his wife a lot of diamond jewelry over the years. One day, she cleaned it all, and left it on a towel on the bathroom counter to dry. Their preschool aged daughter decided to help mom wash her jewelry, in the toilet. All of it was flushed away. I used to do computer repair out of my home. I had a friend who was paying me $150 to repair a gaming desktop that, at the time, was worth about $2300. I had to replace the hard drive, then reinstall windows, then all the drivers, and it took an entire day to get everything working from a backup. It was set aside for pickup later in the week. I had a day job at the time that was 3pm to midnight, and my wife worked 9 5, so we had a part time sitter that summer who took care of our 4 year old son from 2 6pm on weekdays. She was not the brightest woman, but we could afford her rates, and we weren't doing well off financially. My wife called me one night and told me to sit down, because she had some bad news. We had a lot of sick relatives, and been through some deaths recently, so I thought, who died now she told me that the kitchen table was strewn with computer parts. Our son had taken the computer apart with a power screwdriver and some pliers. Like, completely, down to the chips, resistors, and capacitors. If it had a screw, he unscrewed it, and if he didn't, he pulled it off the board with pliers. He then sorted everything by color and size. I nearly lost my crap. I was both angry as frick that he did this, and terrified telling my friend that his $2300 gaming rig was ruined. I nearly had a nervous breakdown. My wife and I tried to plan where we were gonna get $2300. We didn't have $2300 in assets in the entire apartment. We couldn't sell our pose car, because we needed it for work. And maybe, maybe would get $1,200 for it if we were lucky. My son couldn't have done this in a small span of time. He had to have done it in the 4 hours he was with a babysitter. Was he alone for these 4 hours? What the ever living frick? My wife asked her, and the babysitter said, he wanted to work on the computer like daddy did. He said he was allowed to. He is 4. You're the freaking adult with him. What is wrong with you? If he said he was allowed to play with kitchen knives would you have let him? He is 4. She was fired. She wasn't paid that week. Either, because we needed money to pay my friend for a new gaming rig. My wife and I broke the piggy bank. 
and decided we could pay him back if we went without some medicines, didn't pay a few utilities, were late with rent, ate ramen, etc. We could pay my friend off in 3 months with a payment plan. I remember calling my friend so nervous I was shaking, then, thankfully, he didn't think it was a big deal. He said he was thinking of getting a new computer anyway. I didn't have to pay him anything. I was so relieved. But that babysitter. Dang. What a moron. He said he was allowed to. I was washing my van one day three years ago and my two year old decided to help wash the other side. With rocks. Scratched right down to the primer. When I was a kid I thought I'd be helpful and wash my mom's car. I used the one of those scrubby sponges from the kitchen and scratched the crap out of every inch of that car. My 2 year old destroyed a $1000 TV. It was set up on a coffee table temporarily during football season. I went into another room and heard a loud crash. I came out to see the 2 year old on the coffee table and the TV on the floor. I asked him what happened and he says I push it, it go boom. He also had the habit of getting his hands on things he knew he shouldn't have. Then when you ask for it back he would run away. When you chase after him and get close he would throw the item. Several phones were destroyed this way. I'm sure he has ruined over $2000 worth of stuff. I swear. Chasing after a toddler with an illegal object is akin to a hostage situation. You don't want to make sudden movements or they'll launch whatever it is. It's a delicate dance. When I was about 12 I somehow managed to break my nan's 1000 pound stairlift while riding it. One son destroyed a video camera when I left it on top of a speaker with the cord connected to the TV and he pulled it down. My fault. My daughter flushed my college ring down a toilet. My other son tried out my hammer on the hood of my car. Put a nail in the floppy drive of my computer. This back when drives were expensive. Early 80s. I think it cost me $250 back then. Not a parent but I was on a cruise ship and they have art auctions with free champagne so lots of people just go for the drinks. Anyways this feral family came in all loud and let their kids run free. Only one of their kids had crayons and drew on a $15,000 painting. Watching Netflix as I was doing the dishes. Had to poop. Three year old daughter drags kitchen chair up to sink. Decides to help do dishes while I am on the toilet. Goodbye $1200 laptop that is now soaked in about a gallon of water. Husband can't wash dishes without watching something on my laptop. He usually props it up on a pot or container of some kind. Also have a 3 year old. Husband can wash the dishes in silence from now on. When I was about 3 or 4 back in 1997. My dad left the house for an afternoon and my mom was busy downstairs. Well my dad had set up a massive, and I mean covering an entire room massive, model train set. Everything was intricately laid out, and the track went on forever. When my dad got back home, I had disassembled it all. I'm not talking pulling the tracks apart, I broke apart every little thing I possibly could. The whole track was in thousands of pieces. It wasn't the most expensive thing in the world, but god dang did he love that model train set. Your mom totally knew what was happening upstairs. She just wanted her marriage back. A microwave. I fried its brain. Back in the late 1970s, my parents had saved up for their first fancy new JC. Penny branded microwave. I want to recall that it was close to $400, which in 1970s money is a heck of a lot of cash to spend on a small appliance. The delivery person had just set it up on a table and left. Apparently, microwave delivery was a thing back then. All of its accessories were still laid out. At that time, it came with a meat temperature probe because people thought it was a good idea to actually cook real food in a microwave. The probe had a quarter inch mono plug on one end. Think of an electric guitar cord, a wire, and a long 5 inch pointy meat jabby thing on the other end. Being a small child of about 5, I opened the door. Saw the potential to insert tab A into slot B and went about it. Well, it turns out the meat jabby part of the probe should not be inserted into the port in the microwave because the whole thing quickly went poof and subsequently was dead. There is some debate if I was holding onto the metal part of the probe when this happened because I could have been dead too. Good times. 16 iPads. How did our child ruin 16 iPads you ask? Well let me tell you. My wife is a teacher. In her school each child is assigned an iPad for educational purposes. 
When the school year is over the iPods have to be wiped and reset to factory settings. Of course this has to be done after school is over. She was running behind getting her classroom prepped to be cleaned and still needed to reset them to factory settings. She brought her iPad card home with 22 iPods in them. She laid them all down on the office floor and made an assembly line. She got to the last one and left to do something else. Came back and our daughter had played the floor is lava on top of 16 of them. The screens were trashed. Some of them would power on but the touchscreen function was gone. She had to call her principal and explain. She got a royal ass chewing for it. But lo and behold the next year they were planning on switching to Google Classroom instead. All new Chroma books for the kids. My daughter just dropped my MacBook off the couch and it fell just right and is 100% busted. It looks like the bottom exploded. Hopefully we can get what's on our hard drive off and save all of our pictures and whatnot. When I was 5 I filled up the fuel tank in my dirt bike with sand because I ran out of gas. My chemistry teacher's son drove into a building. His car slipped and I saw something. It wrecked the brick wall completely, costing him $10k to repair. I gave him a older car that still ran and was usable and he sold it, and bought a car that was even older and didn't run because he wanted a Mustang. Must post this for my dad. Right after I got my driver's license I was backing the car out of the garage and ran over half of the push lawn mower. I didn't want to lose my newly acquired freedom, and this being January, I just turned the lawn mower around to show the good side and went about my life. Cut to April. I'm doing my homework and my dad comes upstairs laughing. Hey sweetie, yeah dad, when did you run over the lawnmower? Comma January, mad laughter from my dad. He gave me a pass on it for my craftiness. My brother-in-law has parents, they are just not me. The butthead was living with my wife and I for longer than we had agreed to and in his stay he ruined my 40 inches plasma TV because he had low blood sugar and had a tantrum playing Skyrim. Countertops in my kitchen because he couldn't grasp hot pan burns counters. There was 5 burned circles from hot pans and a tea kettle. Minus 150 year old family heirloom cast iron pan because he assumed it could be put in the dishwasher, even though I explicitly told him not to put it in the dishwasher, and also not to use it. My PS3, because his blood sugar was low again. Backseat of my car, because he decided to tag it with a sharpie, because it was his seat. Windshield of my car, because he assumed the best way to de-ice the windshield wipers is to smack them against the windshield. Almost cost me my lease to the apartment. Because he and his totally not boyfriend that slept naked in his bed every night decided they were abandoned practice crappy off key singing at 11pm two nights in a row. Waking up half the building. My lease again. When he brought a 15 year old girl over. He was 21. And her parents called the cops. He left for good that night and has never been allowed in my sight again. Let alone my home or car. My mill claims I need to get over myself because no one is perfect but when I inevitably see him again I'm going to make a lampshade out of his skin. I knocked over my mother's massive pine china hutch when I was about 12. It destroyed all the china and everything else in it path. Then there was the time we used the neighbor's new sports car as a slide for a few hours. With our sandy shoes on, we were about 6. It required a complete paint job and some body work to repair. Man, I miss the 80s. I left the controller charging cable plugged into the front of my PS4. Son thought it looked like it would fit perfectly into the wall outlet. He ran to tell me mom. I popped the house. Fried both my PS4 and our 55 inches TV. Son was okay though. At least I could replace the electronics. My dad told me not to play baseball in the backyard, I did, smashed the windshield on his new S class. Years ago, my sister broke about $2000 of my father's fishing rods, gifts from a client and friend, over the course of about a week. Not ruined exactly but when I was in my teens my boyfriend and I broke into his father's wine cellar and pinched what we thought was the rattiest looking bottle of wine thinking he would never miss it. Turned out to be an incredibly rare, old, expensive vintage that he had been saving since his grandfather gave it to him when he graduated. His grandfather got it from his father, so it had lots of sentimental value as well. I never got over that. We drank it from the bottle out in the woods. What a waste. You have been visited by the blanket pig upvote for good night's sleep for the next lunar year. 
Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.